Exciting updates from Aligarh. Protesters have... Right, in fact, I believe we have some breaking inputs coming in from Danapur, where the crackdown has now intensified on part of the police. The cops have managed to chase the protesters away. Earlier, we saw how they were outnumbered, gear out, female officers fainting, talking to their superiors, telling about the situation on ground and sounding extremely helpless. I believe additional reinforcements have been deployed now. The cops were seen chasing the protesters away. Uh, situation on ground in some places is absolutely out of control. Priyank is joining us uh, live with these details. Uh, Priyank, take us through what's happening there. Yes, certainly. And we are once again back uh, on our TV screen. Uh, you can see that the smoke which is coming out from uh, this particular train is uh, from the Sikandabad Express, uh, where, which we were reporting uh, just a short while back from now. And as you have already updated to, to our viewers that the police officials have uh, managed to chase away all those uh, hundreds of protesters who came out on the streets and later to that they moved towards the Danapur railway station. Uh, my colleague Aditya has been reporting from the Danapur railway station and barely a few meters away from there uh, where these uh, yards are situated where the, the trains uh, come for uh, some sort of repair. Uh, these are the visuals which is coming out from Sikandabad Express. Uh, this particular route has totally been affected because of uh, the hooliganism and all those uh, uh, rioting which had happened here. The the road has also been cleared by the police official. When we were stopped at uh, this location, uh, one of the protesters told us that the duke Okay, uh, we're experiencing technical glitches. Priyank will come back to you, but as we saw on the screens, visuals of train coaches being set on fire, police officials now believe that this was a planned attack in Secunderabad as well, as our reporter was telling us. Hundreds of people came to the spot. They were masked and they also seem to be armed with uh, all the equipment to burn down the trains. The public being inconvenienced, yes, in several of the places. The police officials also being attacked. Here on the visuals, police officials bringing the situation under by chasing away the protesters who were taking law and order in their hands. Absolutely. State is being intimidated. State after state is being held ransom by the protesters. Bihar, UP, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Telangana is witnessing anarchy, arson and vandalism on the streets. Let's go across to Aditya now. Aditya, what is the situation on ground at, at this point of time? Have additional reinforcements been called, more officials deployed? Well, exactly. I mean, as far as Danapur and the railway property is concerned, the situation is now gradually diffusing minute by minute and we can clearly see that even the passengers too have now started arriving the platforms in the hope that the railway movement will be restored within no time. And that being said, the situation is com comparatively better now because the fire that has been taken care of and the fire has been controlled and the passengers too uh, coming in. So that means situation is going back to the normal and we can also see that the railway officials are there. They are actually trying to oh, uh, uh, side away the things that are actually uh, put on the railway tracks by the uh, irate protesters. But that being said, a uh, lot more effort is needed because n number of things were actually put on the railway tracks and they have to actually take down every single thing so as to ensure traffic on this railway tra track route. Ye batayye ki sara aise kitna dur tak pheka hua hai isme? Ye to bahut dur tak phaila hua hai. Kab tak umid hai ki yahan pe parichalan phir se chalu hoga? Abhi to 5-6 ghanta se jyada bhi lag sakta hai. 5-6 ghanta se jyada. So that being said, we just talked to the railway employee who was actually trying to just uh, take the luggage and uh, the things out of the railway track so as to ensure traffic but then what he believes is that uh, this is going to take not less than five to six hours considering the magnitude of the uh, 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 entire thing that has actually been put on the railway tracks. Okay, all right. Uh, Aditya, continue to be with us. Let's also 